Let's take a step back for a moment and look at where we are. We now have a bunch of tools in our toolbox which we can use to do some pretty powerful things. Building statistical models to automatically predict things from our data is kind of amazing. Think about our housing data set from section one. If I was a property developer, I could use it to tell me where I should build my next house in order to maximize profit. That's pretty useful, right? And with the right kind of model, we could use more or even all of our variables to build an even better, more accurate model. But what are those variables? Let's take a closer look. Some variables, such as town and RM, the number of rooms, are fairly straightforward. On the other hand, variables like CRIM, the per capita crime rate by town, and LSTAT, the percentage of lower socioeconomic status individuals in the population, are a bit more problematic. If I build a model for profit that includes CRIM and LSTAT as predictors, it might tell me to avoid developments in areas with high values for CRIM and LSTAT. But would this be the right thing to do? What would happen to those areas if they never saw new businesses and services? What if there's some historical social bias hiding in the CRIM and LSTAT variables? We could quickly create a negative feedback loop that perpetuates this bias. Not good news for the communities in question. Algorithms can be very powerful, even beautiful, but it's important to use them with care. As Spider-Man's uncle once said, with great power comes great responsibility. The ethics of predictive algorithms is one of the greatest challenges in the emerging age of big data, and we're only just starting to grasp these issues. Some authors, like Cathy O'Neill, think deeply about these issues and write poignantly and eloquently about them. Cathy is a mathematician, turned Wall Street quant, turned data scientist and journalist. She blogs at mathbabe.org about weapons of math destruction and has written a book of the same name about them. Cathy writes about many cautionary examples of encoded biases and negative feedback loops in big data algorithms. For a taste of the issues that Cathy covers, check out her TED Talk at the link below. That's it for this section and also the end of our discussion about statistical models, for now at least. In the next section, we'll look at ways to apply these modeling techniques to larger data sets using parallel computing libraries in R.